Welcome to Mosquito Render and Forest Pack Pro support. In this video, we will discuss how Mosquito Render supports third party plugins. Mosquito Render is a GPU based renderer with the broader support of plugins and materials in 3D Studio Max. In fact, it's the best integrated GPU renderer you can get on the market. Here we have a scene we just downloaded from the internet. That scene is uh, set up with Manta Ray materials and you can just download the scene and modify it or just use it as is. We have modified this scene just by uh, exchanging the Manta Ray Sun into our Mosquito Sun, which gives us just much better uh, colors and uh, much more realistic illumination model. However, it's up to you. Mosquito Render supports all the uh, daylight system effects that are available in 3D Studio Max. Forest Pack Pro is a third party plugin and it comes with a, a specialty, and that's the level of detail it offers. So it creates geometry based on the field of view of the camera. However, if you want to work with the advanced active shade integration of Mosquito Render, you should be aware that you should start with a wide angle so that you get all the geometry at first into active shade active shade is meant to give you a real fast feedback and response and it is used to adjust your scene to adjust your camera for example to adjust your field of view the light the shadows everything and this is done beautifully with mosquito render however if the geometry changes in the modeling viewport, this change is not reflected by Active Shade. That's a restriction coming from 3D Studio Max. And as you can see, things we didn't see before we click the uh, Active Shade button are not in the Active Shade viewport, which is fine as we prefer the interactivity. So in Active Shade, we are able to grab the original instance geometry that could be trees, that could be uh, the fence, the flowers, everything. We can handle and manage all these objects in real time. So now let's just check out the material support we have added in Mosquito Render. Forest Pack Pro comes with a variation map and we are now going to choose this variation map. Variation maps are pretty complex and they are hard to implement in GPU rendering. That's why you don't see them in GPU renders. However, Mosquito Render supports them and you would just choose the forest color, which is the variation map that comes with the plugin. And it will allow you to adjust all kinds of aspects, including coloring per item or element. And as you can see, we just activate the variation map and we even support the variation per item or element. That means each grass leaf could have its own color based on the gradient or based on the texture. And just to see it a little bit better, we are using some extreme colors here and Mosquito Render also supports the various blending modes. We have the additive blending mode, we have the average blending mode. So all the blending modes that are available in this shader, they are also supported by Mosquito Render. And as you can see, you just choose it and it's supported in real time. And that's the power of Mosquito Render. You can set up your scenes with physical sun, with a physical camera. You can set up your materials, your light shadows, everything in real time. That's the beauty of it. For now, we are going back to assign the original material. And we're going to do that. We go up one and just drag and drop the original material. The next thing we want to explore is the uh, physical camera we have in Mosquito Render. This is also fully supported and we can just turn on, for example, the depth of field effect. And as you can see in real time, we get our depth of field effect. And it's a physically based effect. So that means it behaves like a real world digital camera, for example. So you can move towards your object and that would create a different uh, depth of field effect. Just uh, notice the fence in the background. So we just moved towards uh, the object, towards our focal point. Now we move back again. 
And now we are going to use our zoom, like in a tele camera, tele lens camera. So we are going to zoom into the object to see what we want. And now you see how beautifully it creates the depth of field effect. And that's exactly based on physically accurate calculations to simulate a real world camera. And that's what you would just get with Mosquito Render. And as you can see, you can adjust everything still in real time. Even though you have a complex effect like a depth of field, physically accurate depth of field turned on. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, we have learned that Mosquito Render supports Forest Pack Pro and it is great with instancing geometry. You can easily create scenes with billions of polygons without any problem at all and still use it in GPU mode and adjust your textures, light, shadows, everything in real time. Check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.